I'm like a lot of people who barely listen to the sim for the very first time and a lot of us know him because of the rumbling and under the tree but I did actually listen to the album that they released because I was curious because I like those two songs that they dropped so I wanted to check them out so I wanted to check their album out and if any of you are coming for AOE or any of that don't expect that from this video I'm just doing a album review for this because I am a react channel at the end of the day and I do like to review music and talk about music so don't expect any AOE things happening in this album. But besides that, so the title says that they could be the Japanese Linkin Park and I will get to that eventually. But what I want to talk about about this album is that I wanted to see what they were about because I really like those two songs. Gave them a listen and I was not disappointed by Sim. Like they are a pretty good band and considering they're from Japan, I feel like this could have been a good marketing move on the label maybe because in the album they speak pretty good English, especially on one song where he's like, get me a coffee or something like that, right? I don't know if their other music is in Japanese, but I feel like this could have been a marketing push just because like, they know they're going to bring a lot of viewers in, so they're going to want to uh, try to get more listeners. And I don't know how much they have now before, but I know now they have 2.5 million Spotify listeners at this point in time. I don't know how it was before, but whoever, if, if they speak English on their other songs then I could be saying this all wrong but if this is their first time speaking an all English album they did such a good job on hooking me into what sim is I feel like they have like the, each song is different it always has like a different flavor to bring to the album BTT is my personal favorite song off the album I have some songs where it's just like very slow like sad song and then you have like reggae and some like some of the music i'm like well, what the like that's i never heard a combination of music like that before i mean i heard one song but it was just like a, a spin-off song for this other band called ginger if you guys know about them then you guys know i'm pretty sure you guys might know because they are in the similar league of sim i did not expect this from sim like they are such a good band and i'm gonna be listening to the other music and i gave the album a couple listens and repeats for a couple days ever since the album dropped and I can see my personal like top three list that I have right now at this moment in time. If this video does well, then I'll probably do reactions to um, their other music as well. But for now, I'm just gonna be reviewing the album because I really want to get it. I just want to talk about. Just want to talk to someone about it. So if there's any other like Sim fans coming in for the very first time, then welcome. But yeah, like I said in the intro, my very my personal favorite top number one song is BDT, which stands for Boring Boring Time. And the drums are beginning make it for me. I, I, like I say in my other videos, I'm a huge, huge drum guy. And then in the middle of the song, it goes to like old school reggae. I was like, yo, this skin here that they have like influences from other music. When I first heard it, I was like, yo, what's going on? I was like, yo, okay, I'm kind of grooving. And then like all, all of a sudden, they got me like headbanging again. I'm like, yo, okay, this is just, this is so cool. Favorite second, my second favorite song off the album is Red. Because like the second half, it goes back to that reggaeton again. I'm like, yo, this is pretty cool. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, I'm grooving with it. And then all of a sudden, it's like I'm hang banging. I'm like, oh, okay, this like goes pretty hard. And you get screams in there, and I'm personally, I I like that song a lot. But it, BTT just takes it for me, just because like it's more heavier with the drums, and I like that. And then for my third favorite song, I have Kiss of Death. I noticed a pattern within this like album thing where it switches back to that reggaeton. And then when I was looking at the Spotify like information, cause I wanted to know where they're from and get more info on them. It just says that that's kind of their style. So this album really sold me on Sim. Cause if this is their style, it's like, okay, like I, like, I, I like it, I'm gonna keep listening. But I just don't know if it's gonna be in Japanese or if it's gonna be in English. I feel like it could be Japanese because they're from Japan, but I could be wrong. And then my favorite part of the kiss of death is the final two stop the final two times where they say kiss of death but my favorite part about the ending of the final two kiss of deaths is that little like ding 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 and the final part like i said fourth song that i like so far and the reason why you clicked on this video under the tree reminds me of lincoln park and i know that's such a huge gap it's like yo under the tree and lincoln park what but the reason why i said sim reminds me of lincoln park is because they each have a song they are known for film or something because lincoln park they made new divide and what have i done for the transformers movie and a lot of people got into Linkin Park because of those 
because of that movie. I can say the same thing for Sim because it got a lot of people coming in for the very first time because of Under the Tree and then we have the rumbling coming in just for one like anime. In this album they get very, I don't know if they're like meshing all their songs together so like you can get the understanding of how Sim is as a band. But it reminds me of like Minutes to Midnight because when you look at that album from Linkin Park you see that they're very experimental with it. There's some like you have a, you have songs like Given Up and you have No More Sorrow and you get some songs like Valentine's Day and then you get and the little things you give away and Hands Held High like it's just very experimental that album and I know a lot of Linkin Park songs did not like that album at first just because it's not what they're used to because you have the very first two albums from Linkin Park which you have Hybrid Theory and then you have Meteora following it afterwards and then when you hear Minutes to Midnight is just like, well, what's going on? This is not Linkin Park. I don't know if this is how it is for the Sim fans. I don't know if they're kind of mixed on this album just because I feel like the, the album did a pretty good job of putting everything together as what Sim is as a band because you have like some like metal songs where you have you have like Under the Tree and then you have BTT. A lot of people got hooked for the very first time on Sim just like I did and a lot of people got, got hooked to Linkin Park because of the Transformers. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. And do you agree with my take on the whole Linkin Park thing? I know it's a, such a huge, huge comparison to compare them to Linkin Park because Linkin Park is like its very own like thing. And then you have Sim. But I feel like they're both good in their own in their own way. But that's pretty much what I, all I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to give my thoughts on the album. I want to know if there's other people out there that are listening to Sim for the very first time. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on your way out. Let me know down in the comments if there's like a good song that I should listen to from sim thank you guys so much for watching i've been alex and i'll hopefully get to see you in another sim video so yeah